What's up guys? I'm back with another simple TSM tips video. And in this video, I'll uh, be going over two things that you can use, to, um, two cool features. The favorites feature, I'm going to look at both the crafting and for uh, for auctioning. And uh, we'll take a look at the auctioning stuff um, stuff first. So if you look, if we open up the auction house interface right here, um, so I'm in the auctioning interface now, and you'll see up here there are some favorite scans. Uh, and if you go to recent scans, it'll show you all of the types of scans you, you've done. So if I if I select, let's say I'll, I'll just select like one group and run a post scan and nothing's going to happen. Uh, but now this one should show up in the... Um, maybe we'll have to do it with something that I have uh, items in. So we'll do... Um, let's do cooking. Cooking, we have items. So I'll run a post scan for cooking. It will get posted. If we exit the scan, we'll see one here. There, this showed up, the scan I just uh, executed. Now, if I wanted to, if this is something that I run often, so let's say you're selling missives, for instance, and um, you want to have easy access to just just posting missives, then you can obviously, bl we could just deselect everything. We can go down to inscription and select the missive subgroup. And we'd run a post scan. And now we'd get this one up here, and if we click on this little star right here, it'll appear on our favorite scans list. So now we can go here, and we don't have to scroll through and figure out. Now we can just have this selected to whatever we want. We could have it selected to everything. And then if we just want to, if we've just posted everything, and it's five minutes later, we've just posted all our auctions, and we just want to get our missives because we know that they probably have been undercut, then we can just click here and it'll run a post scan for missives. The same works with the uh, cancel scans. As you can see, I have favorited a couple of cancel scans here. Um, and these are cancel scans for various combinations of base legendary groups. So the bottom one has all of them. The top one is just rank four. Um, I don't remember what this is. It doesn't matter much. Um, so I can click this one and it'll run a cancel scan for all of the base legendaries. And you can do that. So uh, you just make a scan something that you know that you'll do on a more regular basis of like i want to cancel these groups or i want to run a post scan for just these groups and then then you just click the little star at the at the right side and you can find them in your ca uh, favorite scans list and this saves a ton of time um particularly if you want to run cancel scans for smaller group sizes that's definitely or smaller amounts of items that's where this um really shines and uh, i'd highly suggest doing this now cr the crafting recipes the crafting windows has a similar feature um right here you can favorite a recipe by clicking on the star and that will uh, ensure that it always shows up on top on top so maybe i wanted to do this with uh, say the jewel crafting panther so i don't have to look for those um because I, I craft these regularly right now they show up on top so I don't have to think about these much. I know that they are here, so I don't have to like scroll down to Mr. Pandaria jewel crafting. I can just have them here on top. And you can do that with anything you want. You can, um, any recipe you like. Maybe you want the crafter's mark there too, because you often craft a lot of that. Um, this is another thing that can save you a lot of time. Particularly, this works best for recipes where it's like one or two or three recipes that you want to have easy access to because you craft them a lot and you don't necessarily um, think heavily about how much you craft it. For some recipes like crafted transmog, you, you'd need to have a crafting operation to do it effectively. But for something like crafter's marks, for me, it's like I have a bunch of gems. I probably want to turn more of these into crafter's mark because I have so many. So now I could just buy the vendor materials and I'd find it that at the top of the list and just click craft all and I'm done. Um, so that's uh, quite useful. Maybe uh, obviously doing it with the legendaries isn't going to be worthwhile because you, you can't really see those with the base UI. Uh, but this could make sense to do with stuff like the Vantus rune, missives for inscription, um, any potions or flasks that you focus on uh, if you're doing alchemy. Um, old world transmutes that you run on your alts um, so that you don't necessarily have to have them in the crafting queue. Maybe you just favorite the, the Pyrium bar transmute and it's at the top. Um, or the Jard's peculiar energy source if you do engineering. Uh, many different recipes that this makes sense for and just having them right there at the top is just going to 
save you time every every time you log on every time you open your crafting window and, and you use that recipe it's going to save you some time uh, and that really is the point of this episode or this little video to show you that there are some ways that where you can really save time uh, in tsm by by using these little features and uh, it's going to be um, be quite useful to you so hopefully you can use this uh, for yourself to save time both when you're at the auction house and when you're in your crafting pages if you enjoyed the video leave a like or a comment down below if there's something else you'd like me to, to take a look at in this simple tip series then do let me know and uh, good luck in your gold making guys